Hi, welcome to another Writing in the Dark video. My name is Tim Wagoner, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about probably the most important thing you need to know about characters. Um, there's all kinds of stuff, of course, to know about writing good characters, but a lot of people think that what's most important is like massive amounts of specific detail. So they'll get like a character sheet that either they create or download off the internet and it fills out all kinds of things about people's like their age, their height, their weight, their hair color, their eye color, um, their favorite songs, do they have a pet or not, what was their childhood like, all kinds of things. And all these things can be useful. Uh, but at its core, there's only one thing you need to know about a character. Um, and everything else being equal, you know, that they're physically capable, um, you know, they can do whatever they need to do physically in the story. Um, it doesn't really matter what their gender is, their race is, uh, what their age is, where they come from. What matters most is their psychological makeup. This is the most important because this tells you how they'll act and react throughout the course of your story and this allows you to plot it. Whether you plot your story out ahead of time by doing an outline or whether you just pants it in right in the moment, you'll still know what happens because you'll know what this character will do. And their psychological makeup's always in effect throughout the course of the story. So it's the most important thing. I'm not saying you don't need to do the other stuff. It's okay to know their eye color, but you need to have the psychological makeup nailed down. So ask yourself things like, how does your character meet obstacles? If your character is confronted with a problem, how does your character react? How do they react to stress? Um, short-term and long-term stress. If it's a novel, they're under long-term stress. Short story, maybe just short-term. But how do they react? Um, how do they react to building stress? Uh, if the, at first they're just irritated, what's it going to get to have them just lose it and go absolutely nuts? Um, how do they try to obtain their goals as well? Do they do it on their own? Do they seek out the help of a friend? Um, do they call the police if it's some kind of like you know adventure type problem or whatever, thriller type problem, horror type problem? Um, are they willing to sacrifice others to achieve their goals? Do they uh, try to cooperate with others? Do they try to convince others? Do they try to manipulate others? Do they try to trick others? Um, and then also, like, how does that change throughout stress, too? They normally might cooperate until they're so threatened, then they might go ahead and, like, throw somebody else in the, in, at the danger so they can escape. Um, how do they react to people, new people? people that aren't like them, uh, people that uh, challenge them, don't, don't necessarily agree with them throughout the course of trying to solve problems in your story. How do they react to places? How do they react to change? Because stories are all about all kinds of changes happening to a character, whether they're trying to make those changes, the changes are occurring to them, or they try to make changes and then changes occur to them as a result. Are they comfortable with change, not comfortable with change? Do they seek it out? Do they avoid it? Um, how do they react to challenges? If somebody challenges them, do they back down? Do they immediately kind of become the aggressive? To even like the mildest of challenges. We all know people like that, that just at the, the drop of a hat, they will, if they think they're challenged, they will attack. Other people, it takes a lot to get them to go ahead and respond to a challenge from somebody else. And how do they react to fears, the things that they fear? Um, there are all kinds of levels of fear too. What kind of fear reactions do they have to different things? Um, do they immediately like run and tear like Shaggy and Scooby-Doo? Uh, do they, are they like Sherlock Holmes and, and, or Mr. Spock and they're very, very controlled in their emotions? And uh, maybe something might make them afraid, but they would combat that as much as they can to get the job done. Knowing all of these things will tell you exactly what a character will do. So if you have a character that always insists on doing things alone, this character is not going to maybe share information with other people. This character may purposely try to leave other characters behind or lead them onto sidetrack so they're not part of what the main problem of the story is, the main adventure is. If you get a character that needs to work with other people, they are going to seek other people out and bring them along, even if they endanger those other people, because it's a deep need for them to have other people help them do stuff. So what you want to do is think about, make a psychological profile of your character more than anything else. Um, list all the things, you know, how do they... Uh, what do I have here? Meet obstacles, try to obtain goals, react to people, places, changes, challenges, and fears. Once you have that all plotted out, even if you don't know their name, 
you could still write a story about them. And then the other things you may want to filter in, you know, things about their height or their weight or how they like to dress or who their favorite musical group is or whatever. Those things can be sprinkled in there. But at the core of the story, it's the character psychological makeup that's most important. So thanks for listening. Um, if you have any ideas, uh, any questions about this or ideas for future things to have me make videos about, just go to my website. It's just myname.com, timwidener.com. Um, and I'll go ahead and leave a link in the comments too. There's a contact tab there. Just send me an email and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. All right. Thanks for listening.